Hey, what's going on Machine Masters? My name is MG The Future. Thank you for joining me today. Today I will be using PreSonus Studio One version four, and I'll be featuring some of the packs that are coming to the shop this Friday. Remember that we're gonna have this 4th of July sale, so you can take advantage of that on some of these new packs that you'll see in this video, some courses, or pick up some things you may have missed out on on previous sales. And to use that, when you go to checkout, just enter the code July 40th, as seen on the screen here, and I'll get you 40% off the entire store. So hopefully you guys enjoy that. In this particular demonstration, I did find a loop that I like out of the uh, Royalty Free Loops Volume 4 from Too Deep. And I'm gonna play this for you and loop it up. It's at 130 beats per minute. And I dragged in Serato first to see what the key was. It said it was B flat minor. So this is pretty cool because it also includes the MIDI for those pads and those bells. So I might want to take that bass out because we have another pack that's coming Friday called Basic Instinct. So I'm going to see if I can merge those two together. But before I do that, let's add some more to this particular track. It's very dark. It's kind of lo-fi-ish. Let's check a look at Marvelous Bricks real quick. See if there's anything in here I like. He always includes the drum stems in his pack, so that's already very useful. All right, so he has some fills in there that I like. So I'm bring that in. Let me mute this track real quick and just focus on these drums because I'm probably gonna have to time stretch them. Okay, so I think I got a loop here. I'm gonna use the, uh, the slash key that's right under the delete key on your keyboard and Mac to slice that perfectly. So we're good money here. And since this was recorded in a different tempo, I'm going to time stretch it and one or two things are going to happen. It's going to be too fast for this 130 beats per minute or I'm going to drag it out and make it really slow like a backing track. Uh, the producer Danger Hands used to do this a lot. He had a trap kit in his studio which is to kick the snare in a hat and then he'd layer that with his drums, the Timberland style drums. It always sounded really good when he did that. So let's loop this twice, and let's blend it a little bit better than that. All right, and then on this particular sound, I am gonna high pass that bass and the sample itself. Let's use the PreSonus channel strip. Really clean cut too. And then on the Marvelous Breaks, what I'm gonna do is add some RX950 to it, the Akai uh, emulated down sim. And that's gonna be behind my actual drums. So for my drums themselves, it looks like we got the Trapped in Love drum kit. So I wanna show you guys something that's kind of secret, but it's called Atlas. And with Atlas, what it's gonna allow me to do is to go through this Trapped in Love kit volume five really fast, especially since I've never heard it before. It's gonna create a, a cloud out of all the different elements and allow me to randomize a drum kit that I can use from it. So I'm gonna click on maps, I'm gonna create a new map. I wanna name it Trapped in Love, and I believe this is version five. I wanna change the color scheme because it's gonna use it as the gradient to color the map. Something like this, maybe something with blue in it. There we go. And then I could browse or drag and drop that folder. So Trapped in Love, the drums, make sure these are the drums and single shots, they are. Drag that on in, and then I'm gonna have it analyze it, and I'm gonna make sure it only includes drum samples. Then click on Load Map, because it's ready. Boom, so we can zoom in and zoom out. We got our kicks up here. And all I gotta do is click on new kit and it'll randomly put a kit together for me using these sounds. And what you could do is, at the bottom right here, you're gonna notice this like and dislike. This is gonna help you in the AI of this program choose future drums as well. So like if I don't like that type of hi hat, I can disable it. I like that one. That's all right. And, but instead, because there's not that many here for it to have to keep cycling through, what I'll do is, I'll change the ones by locking the ones I want to keep, and anything unlocked will be changed. So I might keep these. I'm going to hit new kit again. So there's only one other in this kit. Drag this one in. I'm good to go. Let's see if we can get pattern mode for that going. So in Studio One, 
I found the root key for Atlas. And what's happening is it's going up the octave when I trigger Atlas, but it's going down the pattern list. That can be confusing. Just stay woke. Let's do 32s. So say for instance now I didn't like that hi-hat anymore, bring Atlas back up and have it randomize a different one for us. There we go. Now what I want to do is probably use one of these basses from Basic Instinct. We got 808s, we got subs, we got kicks. He even has it multied out from different analog synths that he has. So you can map these to like sample one or something. Let's bring that in, make sure the root is set to C. I'll set mine to mono, I'll turn the glide on. And before I program it, so it's a very simple bass line. I like that. I'll add some more notes to this or more rhythm. So I need something extra on that bass. It's dirt. Go through the presets real quick for bass. I'm gonna show you another one of my tricks. One thing that is messing with my ear a little bit is the fact that the break is being played by humans, so it's really humanized. So I'm gonna quantize that to my drums. So first thing I wanna do is convert this to a pattern. So I'm gonna do convert pattern to part. I'm gonna duplicate it, and now this will give me the regular piano roll view, and I can quantize that. And I have a few of these uh, quantize presets from like the MPC and stuff like that, even the EMU SP1200. But I'm gonna try the Korg DD1 at 50%, and I believe we can even do it less than that. It doesn't have to be 100% on this. So what I'll do is apply it, see what those sound like. Now I'm gonna double -click, click on this drum loop and do the same thing. So these should be in pocket with each other a little bit better. Cool. I'm gonna do the same thing with this audio loop as well. And as you guessed it, the 808. There's also another cool trick that this has, it's called humanize. I'm gonna use the humanization on this. It is hidden away under musical, humanize, and it kind of randomizes the slide of the notes or the nudging, and of course the velocity as well. So it's gonna move it just a touch, make it more lively. Now let's check out these Booney Mayfield lo-fi chops. Interesting. We might be able to Serato sample these. Something like that's really back in by the... So Snaristotle, it has effects in it. So let's see if we can use one of these effects. Let's run it all together from the top, turn it down. So you want to do that as often. So I'm going to double this and only let it happen every two or four bars or so. So, so far I use Basic Instinct for the 808. I got the Booney Tunes Lo-Fi's for that guitar chop. I got the snare saddle effects. I got the Marvelous Breaks as the backing drums. I got Trapped in Love for the main drums. And then Royalty Free Loops, that's our main pad bed or our synth bed. And I'm using the MIDI from that too to program the bass from Basic Instinct. So I use all six sample packs in one track. Um, I'm listening for probably one more thing. I need some voice though. And I believe Snaristella has a Vox folder. Yeah, buddy. Let's get it right here. And then double that up as well. And then let's swoop it. And since the Marvelous Breaks drums are left heavy, I'm put all my effects and sound effects pan to the right. Mm -hmm. 
let's throw L2 on it real quick. make that a little bit smoother real quick show you one more trick so something like this there we go it's a vibe man I'm afraid to mess this up. I just want to show you how cool Atlas is, especially when you have, like I said, it was for, perfect for a new kitchen. You don't have favorite sounds yet, but you can randomize all these categories. As you see, as I float over it, it'll say clap, snare, etc. Since these are going to be the same elements when I do new kit, it's going to be totally different drums with the same pattern and the same spacing. <laughs> I can do this AI random loop thing forever. But I'm not going to take up too much of your time on this beautiful day. Hopefully you take advantage of the sale. Grab some of these new packs this weekend when they hit the store Friday. Remember, it's July 40th at checkout. I'm MG The Future. If you guys have any comments, questions, or concern about anything in this particular video, let us know in the comments below. Until next time, guys. Peace.